Joy. Hi, Joy. Good. Good to see good you. See you. <laughs> Come on in. Make yourself at home here. That's a good sounding single. That's the oh. one you think is really going to launch things this well, time around, huh? Let's hope so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've heard. I have not seen the video. I've heard about the video. <laughs> now we need to talk about this because for the longest time it seems kind of unfair because all the males in country music mm -hmm. have all these gorgeous babes right. in their video. Well, it's it's the law. Well, it's the, the country law. Music law? Yes, but okay. it's the she, law of the world, I yes, think. I, uh -huh. Joyland decided that turnabout <laughs> is fair play. Tell them what you <laughs> tell them what you did. Well, we had uh, five pretend to be biker guys, but they were really models. Yeah. They look awful good. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like, it was a lot of competition for me. Male models, right? <laughs> male models. They, yeah, they looked really good. They were young and they were very healthy. Mm -hmm. And they uh, <laughs> and they painted my pickup truck in the video pink. Ah, oh, well, okay. did you get to, to get very close to these uh, gentlemen? Yes, I, I was riding on the back of a motorcycle. Ah. With, actually, we really weren't riding on the motorcycles. Uh, should I tell this? You know, oh, I mean, yes, it's, it's sure. TV. People can know. Yeah. But they had, these were really neat vintage Indian motorcycles. They were worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And so the real guys that owned them were there. And I, one, of the, one of the guys had a little bitty chihuahua dog, of course, that I fell in love with. His name was Chewy. I have to mention him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those but, Indian bikes are collector's <laughs> items, like they in the are, 30s. Yeah, aren't they? yeah, and this little this little Chihuahua rides in the back of one of them too with the guy. He loves it. But anyway, um, how they did us in the scene to make it look like we were riding? They had the the motorcycles like on a um, flatbed truck you know uh -huh. like sitting up I and see. so we were going crazy on those motorcycles we were like i was saying put your legs up on the handlebars you know <laughs> we're, like we were really riding that way you know <laughs> like they're just expert so you, motorcycle riders you weren't really being reckless it just looks like yeah it, right? we were just pretending that we were <laughs> great <laughs> idea though looks like fun <laughs> hey i also heard that uh, uh during fanfare at the international fan club organization show that you got to do duet with loretta lynn yes. was that impromptu or planned no um it was planned, but I, it was kind of short notice. We found out, you know, Loretta, you know, Loretta's spur of the moment, you know, yep. which mm -hmm. I love her to death. She mm -hmm. is great. And, um, but it was a great spur of the moment type thing. I think I, I knew like maybe two or three weeks beforehand. To me, that's kind of spur of the moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. Now, uh, you just returned from Montana where you did some songwriting with Costas. Yeah. Do you have a certain theme in mind when you have a songwriting session or you just collaborate yeah. and see what happens? I, I pretty much collaborate and see what happens, but I had an idea for a song, and um, I had it like you know the title for the song. So we did that, and um, but it's beautiful in Montana. I mean, there the mountains. I was in Bozeman, mm -hmm. um, and the mountains. It's just like driving around and looking at a picture. Well, better than a picture because you're really seeing it with your real eyes. But the mountains and the top of the mountains had snow on top of them. I went, of course, I was by myself, so I'm driving around, you know, going, oh, this is neat. Yeah, and by myself, up. I can't tell anyone. But... I know, head your feet up on the handlebars and things <laughs> right. like that, right? Yeah, okay, oh, I got no. you. Are there certain places of beauty like that that inspire songwriting more than others? I would think so, yeah. just like people that like to paint. That, that's a great place, though. Costas, who, you know, he wrote True Confessions with Marty Stewart, plus yeah. uh, lots of other big hits he's had. Um, he is from Montana and pretty much in that area in Bozeman. He's lived there most of his life, so maybe that's why he's such a great songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> could be, could be. The well, let's brag on the new album that's coming yes. out later in August. The single CD is just a beautiful thing to look at here, all pink and pretty. So what can you tell us about the album Wild Love? Well, I dedicated the album to the memory of my dad. Um, he died, um, it'll be two years this August, and um, I, I'm real excited about the album. Um, I've got Wild Love on it. I've got um, some really good country songs on the album. I've got a rockin' song called I Am Just a Rebel that's on the album. Are you a rebel, Jorlin? <laughs> well, I was born a rebel. I was born in Arkansas. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I am. I'm kind of I'm kind of a rebel, but I'm a nice, nice rebel. A there nice you. rebel. All right. In the meantime, here's where you can see this rebel rouser on tour, Joy Lynn White, <laughs> on through Virginia, Illinois, New York, Ohio, and then back to New York. And, and who all are you touring with this year? Well, I've, I've played a lot with Marty Stewart, and yeah. I, I, luckily I got to do a show with Willie Nelson, Good. too. That was neat. And I've done some with George. I just kind of play with whoever will let me come and warm their show up. There you go. <laughs> well, have a great time. Good luck with that single. Thank you. All right, Joy Lynn White yeah. here on Music City tonight.